Hi guys, today I want to do a tag video and I'm sure you guys have all seen this tag kind of floating around on YouTube lately and it is the small creator tag. Now this was created by Smoky Glow and I watched her video as soon as it came out but at first I was like, you know what, I haven't been on YouTube for that long so I don't know if I'm qualified to answer these questions but the more I've seen people do it, the more I've realized it doesn't really matter how long you've been on YouTube because everyone has their own journey and everyone has their own experiences. So I thought it would be fun to just do the tag anyway. And honestly, I don't really care if people think I've been on YouTube for long enough because is there even really such a thing? So let's just jump right into the tag. So question number one is how many years have you been on YouTube? So <laughs> I've been on YouTube for zero years. Um, I started my YouTube channel pretty much spot on four months ago now. So. You know, I'm super new on YouTube, I'm still a little YouTube baby, so I don't have a lot of YouTube experience yet, but I've had so much fun since I started my channel. Question number two is, what was your first video about? Now, I did a eyeshadow palette collection video because in the beginning I didn't know anything about cameras, I didn't know anything about editing, and I didn't really know anything about putting up videos on YouTube, like I had no experience in that stuff, so I wanted to make a video that First of all, I didn't have to be on camera because it would be awkward as hell because it's like so weird to be on camera in your first ever YouTube video. So I wanted to kind of ease into it by doing a palette collection video because, you know, that's pretty easy. You just kind of show your palettes. So that's what I did. And that video actually got a lot of views. So if I could do that again, I definitely would. Maybe actually, maybe I should do a updated palette collection video. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Question number three, who is your dream collab? Now, I've thought about this a little bit and I kind of want to split it up into two parts because I don't know if it means who is your dream collab as in like a YouTube person or as in a brand. So I'm gonna start off by brand and I'll, I'm sure you guys already can guess this because I love Dubious Place so much and if I could do a collab with Dubious Place, if I could do a palette with Dubious Place, like that would just be such a dream come true because I love them as a brand so much. I love their creativeness. I love their formula. I love everything about the brand. I just think it would be such a good match. I'm sure they don't think so, but I would love to collaborate with Juwi's Place somehow. As for a person though, this is kind of scary because I'm going to say Angelica and you guys, you guys know I love her so much. And the thing about this that is really scary is she started to watch my videos and every time she comments or every time you comment if you're watching this, I always go, oh my God, she watches me. She knows who I am. So I feel like I'm really fangirling right now, but like, honestly, like you are such an inspiration to me if you are watching this that I would love to do a, even just like a three looks, one palette collab with you because those are my favorite videos of yours and I just think it's amazing. So Angelica would absolutely be my dream collab on YouTube just because she's just such a creative person and that just makes me happy. And also she's different from a lot of other people, you know, like I have gone back and watched a lot of her earlier videos and she's never changed. Like she's always been herself. And that's something that I really appreciate in someone that they stay true to who they are. And you can tell that she has a true passion for what she does and that just makes me really happy. So Angelica, if you're watching this, do you want to collab? <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, moving on. <laughs> question number four, what would it mean for you to make it on YouTube? I feel like this question is so relative to the person who's answering it. And I don't really know what my definition of making it on YouTube would be. Now, common sense wise for myself, like if I can make a living being on YouTube, that to me would mean I've made it on YouTube, if that makes sense. Like I, I guess there's so many ways that you can kind of make it. Like maybe if you have a video that goes viral, that would be making it on YouTube. For me, it's not about the numbers. It's more so about where can I take my channel? And if I can take my channel to a place where I end up with a lot of subscribers and I get something out of that, then I guess that would be making it on YouTube. But like, honestly, I don't really have like a number goal or anything like that that I want to reach. For now, I'm really just enjoying my channel and I'm going to work hard to try to make something out of it. But like, I don't know what the end goal is going to be. And that is actually the next question is what is your end goal on YouTube? So. I don't know if you guys have watched my My Story video, but I will link that up there if you want to check it out. And I talked a lot about where I'm at in life right now and I don't have a job. I struggle with a lot of chronic pain issues and stuff and I have a lot of free time. So, so I'm going to try to answer this again. I have probably answered this question now four times and I don't really know how to get my message across without it sounding wrong. But my angle on YouTube is to hopefully eventually be able to make a little bit of money out of this because I 
I do have a lot of free time right now and I'm trying to take advantage of that by filming a lot and putting up videos and I also do really have a passion for what I'm doing and I know that you guys know this. If you have been on my channel for a while, you know how much this really gives me joy and it's something that I feel like I've been missing in my life for so long. It's just to have a hobby that I am passionate about and if I can somehow turn this passion and hobby into something more, that would be absolutely amazing. So. I can't sit here and be like, you know what, I want to get rich from YouTube because that's not what it's all about. It's more about following your dreams and maybe one day your dreams will come true. So so this is just a really hard question to answer and I don't even know how else to word it. So I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. Question number six, what is the hardest part about YouTube? Um, Probably just the amount of time that everything takes. Uh, when I first started, I had no idea how long it was gonna really take to like, not, not just edit a video, but just the whole uploading process takes so much time. Like I made a video a while back about what it's like to start a YouTube channel. I will link that up there if you want to check that out as well. But basically I was just saying that everything takes so much more time than expected. And it takes so long to really get a hang of like technology and stuff like that. and lighting don't get me started on lighting like i have lighting now and i feel like i still struggle every day to make my lighting look as good as possible i still really have no idea and i do plan on switching out this background soon now when christmas is coming and we're gonna move into a little bit more cheery stuff so you know i still need to play around with it and it's something that i probably will never have any idea of what i'm doing i'm just kind of guessing and hoping for the best so yeah, I guess technology wise, it's probably the hardest part for me about being on YouTube because I haven't really gotten any mean comments or anything like that that I've had to deal with, so. And question number seven is, what is the best part about YouTube? Uh, you guys, you guys are amazing. I just love having a little community of people that honestly, I consider you guys my family. Like I know that sounds really cheesy and stupid, but I feel like I've gotten to know so many of you guys, not just through the comments, but I've had so many conversations with so many of you on Instagram and stuff, and it, just, it makes me so happy. And I feel like I've made genuine friends, which is crazy to say just from starting a YouTube channel, but I really feel like I've made some amazing connections on YouTube and I am so grateful for the subscribers that I do have and you guys know that I keep saying it so often but like YouTube is such an amazing platform and I'm so happy that I decided to make my channel because it's made my life so much better so I just want to thank you all for that again like I, I know I do this all the time but I love you guys so I'm gonna read question number eight and question number nine together because this is going to be the same answer for both of them so Question number eight is, what is the funniest comment you've ever gotten? And then question number nine is, what is the meanest comment you've ever gotten? I'll tell you what that was. So this was from my Dubious A Freak first impression video. And it's probably the video that I did that got the most views. So it's not really surprising that it's the video that I got my first hate comment in. So basically the comment says, what is that hairy armpit though? <laughs> Do you know how many times I went through that video to find the clip where I actually saw that I had armpit hair? Like five times. So this person must have like been watching my video and probably paused at like the perfect time. And I'm like showing something like this. I don't even know really what I'm doing. And it's not like I had like super hairy armpits. I probably hadn't shaved in two days. Like it was just a little bit of stuff, but it's like, why do you have to comment that? Like that is so stupid but so funny at the same time. Like I couldn't do anything but laugh because I'll be honest, I don't shave every day and sometimes I go hair and that is human nature and I don't give a shit. So <laughs> I mean, hopefully that'll be the meanest comment I ever get, but I'm sure I'll get some really mean comments eventually, you know, if my channel keeps growing. So I just have to mentally prepare myself for that. But I just thought that was hilarious. Question number 10, what other subject matter could you create a YouTube channel about? I had to think about this for a long time and this one is tough. I did say in my My Story video that I do struggle a lot with food. I have a really bad relationship with food and I have had for a long time now. It has gotten better and I'm moving along more on the path of like self-love and self-acceptance rather than food restricting and trying to conform into society's views of what a perfect body is like. And so I feel like I could probably start a channel about like self-love and you know, just like stuff like accepting yourself the way you are. And I don't know, something along those lines, but I also 
And this is going to sound really stupid, but I could also see myself having like a channel where I do like clothing hauls and stuff, but I don't want to be one of those people who orders a bunch of stuff and then sends all of it back just to review it, you know? But it just looks like so much fun and people just get sent so much free stuff for doing that. So, you know, I could definitely... <laughs> No, I'm never going to do that, but it does look like fun. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Question number 11, why did you start your YouTube channel? Well, basically because I had been watching beauty videos for quite a while. I wanna say for maybe like a year, it was the only thing I ever did. Like I stopped watching TV at all and I would just binge watch like beauty YouTube videos. And it just sparked something inside of me that made me want to do it myself because I enjoyed watching other people so much. and. I really thought that I could create my own content I felt like I had good enough ideas and I also felt like there was room for me on YouTube because there's not a lot of people who look like me and I get really annoyed when I just see like these beautiful, commercially perfect, beautiful faces. That's not something that I look up to. Like I want to see normal people, I want to see real people put on makeup and I also want to see people experiment. And I don't see a lot of people being super creative on YouTube. Now I will say, having been on YouTube for a while now and I've found a lot of smaller creators that are a lot more creative, um, that has really opened my eyes to the fact that I don't need to watch all these big channels and I'm actually going to unsubscribe to a lot of people. And let me know if you guys want to see a video like that. I thought about doing it earlier but I was like, is that really being an asshole if I like tell you about all the bigger channels that I want to unsubscribe from and why? Because I thought it would be interesting, it's not me bashing them in any way, it's just kind of expressing my opinions on why certain people have kind of lost my interest and stuff and like why I've started watching smaller channels instead. So let me know if that would be something you'd be interested in watching. Question number 12, what video are you embarrassed by? I wouldn't say I'm embarrassed by any of my videos because YouTube has been a learning curve and I expected in the beginning that my videos were going to suck and now looking back at my old videos I'm like wow your editing was so bad and honestly I thought my editing was okay back then for like just having started but there are some things that I notice in my older videos like when I speed up and I don't turn down the volume of like the speeding up sound and I can hear that in the background like zzzz. Like how did I not notice that when I was watching my video through before uploading it? But like, it's just, it's not a big deal, you know? Like you learn as you go and that's the beauty of YouTube. And that's the beauty of making a lot of videos is that eventually you're going to get better at it because you're doing it so often. And I think that's great. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm embarrassed by anything. If you want to go back and watch my earliest videos, please do. <laughs> Question number 13, what video are you the most proud of? I want to say all my three looks one palette videos just because they take so much time to film and edit but the video that I had the most views on was my Kat Von D fetish palette first impression and I'm actually really happy about how I put that video together and the way I edited it and just the way that it came out because sometimes I stumble on my words and sometimes my editing is choppy and sometimes you know like I'm just like I'm not like great at talking in front of the camera sometimes I stop in the middle of a sentence and I do a jump cut because I have to start my sentence in the middle again and I forget to like start over and I just felt like that video was kind of like flowing very nicely so I'm proud of that video even though not a lot of people would be like hey you shouldn't be reviewing Kat Von D, but like I wanted a palette so I bought it. <laughs> and the last question is what is your first YouTube memory? Um, I've been watching YouTube for a while. I used to be really 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 into like fitness and like what I eat in the day videos. That was usually what I watched before I stumbled across um, makeup videos on YouTube. So. I would say those were probably like the videos that got, got me hooked on YouTube, like workout videos and stuff like that, which I don't watch any of that stuff anymore, so don't worry, you'll never hear me talk about any of that. So thank you so much to Smoking Glow for creating this tag, I thought all these questions were great. Uh, if you want to check out some other people that have done this tag, I will leave some videos down below that I thought were really good. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would become part of my family by subscribing, and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye!